<laughs> oh, it's early. I mean, it's it's early, but it's not that early. Just gotta make sure we've got everything ready to go fishing. We've got a boat. I've got fishing poles, bait, chairs, and a motor. I think that's everything that I need. I mean, essentially. I also have a banana, so I don't know if that's essential to fishing, but it won't hurt. Okay, now I've just gotta go pick up my buddy, get on the road, and get up there and start fishing. We're almost to the lake. Brandon's here. Uh, there's been a fire up here. <laughs> It must be still going because uh, smoke. Fairly certain it's not by the, the the lake though. It's further up, right? That's what I've heard. Yeah. So I, I think. Plus we're on the water. I mean. Yeah, we're gonna stay in the water. We're good. Yeah. Water doesn't burn. So I've heard. So <laughs> we should be good to go. So we got here, and the boat ramp is actually closed because of the fire, but we can carry the boat down to the lake and put it in. We'll see if we can carry it down there. So if you ever wanna know the super sucky way to launch a boat, that's it. We're at the same spot that I came with my brother on the 4th of July. Hopefully the fish are still biting. We caught a lot last time. It's really smoky. The fire is actually just around the bend and you can kind of see it coming up, but... All right, we're gonna catch some fish now. First fish! It's got another, another hook in its mouth. Let's see if we can let this one go. A smart fish, that's for sure. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that's one. Brandon just hooked into his first one. Uh -oh. There you go. You swallow it or is it? I've actually had three others on and I, I can't land them. They're getting off, but the fish are biting, so, so that's good. Official fish number two, I actually landed him right there and it's in the lip, so we can let him go really easy. All right, Brandon's got number two. It was almost, it was almost a double for him. He had one on both lines. In Utah, we can have two poles for every one license we have, so take advantage of that. All right, number three for Brandon. All right, he's at three, I'm at two. It's, it's the rule of fishing that, that when you start doing something else, you'll get a bite. He started to eat a sandwich, and then he had a fish on each pole of his. Yeah, that's, a, that's an all right one. All right, I got number three. It swallowed the hook, so I'm gonna keep it. Bring it home and barbecue it up. That's yeah, pretty good. Whoa, check it out. Cool. Gotta be a good pilot to do that. gonna drop it on us. Okay, so I just caught fish number four. Brandon's at five. five. I've had like 5,000 bites and that helicopter's been back like 20 times. It just keeps coming back. Happens every time. Brandon was getting a drink and slammed another fish. So that's six for him and four for me. Doesn't look like too many other people wanted to carry their boats onto the lake. But now we're, we're starting to think that they closed down the boat ramp so that people weren't on the lake when the helicopter was coming. So maybe we shouldn't be here, but we actually asked the campground host, you know, hey, can we come? And he said, yeah, if you carry your boat. So we carry the boat. So what we're doing is we're just casting and line out there. There's a show coming. of what's happening right now. So we've had three different helicopters come by. This one actually has a bucket on it. 
Here's the other one. So three different helicopters. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at 11 fish, you're at nine. Our goal was to get 20 between us. We at least got that, so. That almost sucked really, really bad. My face is still red. <laughs> we, we couldn't get the motor started, so we had to start paddling back and the wind was blowing against us. Those helicopters were flying over our head. Luckily, like after about five, 10 minutes of rowing, we got it started. And then we got over to the lake and we came out a different, different way and there was somebody I knew from Austin's baseball team there and he helped us get out, a couple other guys, three other guys helped us pull the boat or else we would have been... Still pulling. Yeah, we still would have been pulling. That would have sucked really bad. 20 fish between the two of us. It was, it was successful. Good. It was a good fishing trip. So now it's time to go home and get cleaned up because I stink really bad. <laughs> All right, we got home. I dropped Brandon off and then I went over to my brother's house and dropped the boat off the motor, all that stuff. Now we're going to go back home and eat. I am exhausted. Like I am so freaking tired carrying that boat. Luckily we had those guys help us, but holy cow, that was rough. But there's something going on up here. Check this out. So that's pretty crazy. And uh, luckily it wasn't us. I need some food in my belly, she needs some food in her belly, he might need some food in his belly, food in all the bellies all around. We can't eat until Bree gets home and her parents are visiting, so that means that Coco's visiting. She's a little bit crazier than our dog. She, she's, she's really cute, but she's really cra crazy. <laughs> I hurt really, really bad from carrying that stupid boat back and forth. Hey, where are we? Leather bees. Leather bees. Pokemon. We're gonna finish the day getting some ice cream. Delicious, delicious ice cream. I guess Bree's the only one who gets ice cream tonight. Mmm. Okay, first one done wins a prize. No. What's the try? More ice cream. Okay. Just kidding. Our bellies have been fed. Ice cream has filled them. And I think that's going to do it. We will see you next time. Uh, hit all the buttons. <laughs> hit them all, and we will see you again. I got to go home and ice my back or something. Bleh.